Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, if you look right here, you see we got our box done and the coffin box is done. And we got fucking water dripping out of our vent, so I'm gonna have to move it out of the way. As you can see right there. The owner, he's gonna have to come back in and caulk all the seams in here, cause I can't you know, weld it all up, okay? What'll happen, all the sheet metal will distort, okay, like it is right here, if you can see that line. And we don't want that. We want it to be nice and clean and flat, and then whatever the fucking owner wants to do, he can do whatever the fuck he wants, because it's his. So I went ahead and I uh, kind of detailed it down the edge here to give it that gothic look, and then I came across the top, so when that rusts out, it'll look pretty nice. So now what we're working on, we're working on our top here. And Bruno is not too happy with me, are you, bud? You're not happy because we've been here since 4.30 this morning. And it's now what time? It's 6.30 at night. So we've been here a long time, haven't we, buddy? And we're not going to go home yet. Probably going to have to wait till Mama calls. And I'm going to have to have her come pick you up. You don't have to look away from me like that. You don't have to be mean to me. Don't worry. You're going to go home, buddy. I know you're hungry. You're going to get your dinner. You can count on that, bud. Okay. So what we're doing now is we're basically repeating our process. This is the top half of our uh, lid. And uh, we're probably going to have to make, if you look right here, okay, if you remember, I kind of jumped the gun. And I went ahead and I made a lid for our... Uh, uh, lid frame for our but I really didn't compensate for all these little imperfectional welds here and uh, so we're probably going to have to scrap our frame and we're going to have to make a brand new one but that's another day and another dollar and another story let me put that back there we probably won't be keeping that we'll make another one so what I got to do right now I'm going to work on the top I'm going to go ahead and skin that just like I did the bottom over here if you look right there Okay, I got to make a frame just like that. And this is going to be the top half of our lid. This will be actually be the top. All right, we got our uh, frame for the top put on the coffin. We went ahead and put the lip around the edges. I guess I could show you that. But you know what? I'm not going to show you because let me explain why, okay? We can show you that in the end. I don't have to show you that now, okay? If you look right here, you can see the frame that goes around. And I went ahead and I put the hinge on. And, uh, what the fuck? Here, let me take the top off. Let me go ahead and fucking do that. Because, you see, I had it all fucking rigged up, okay? I had it all rigged where I was going to. So I'll go ahead and show you. Okay. Tell you what, let me get my camera. I'm going to show you what we're talking about here, okay? What we've done. We're going to bring you up to date on the situation. Okay, if you look right here, you can see the frame that's separate, see? And then I'm going to go ahead and open that, and hopefully it'll balance right there. There we go. So you can see the frame that I made for our top, okay? That's the lower section part of the frame. And then what I did, and I still got to finish this out, but I went ahead and welded these on here, as you can see. And that's going to be our ledge for our uh, top to sit on. So that's going to give a kind of an evil type, you know, look. Okay, so that looks pretty nice going down the side there. And then I went ahead and put a piano hinge on it. And I also put some uh, 
distressed welds on that as well. And I welded that top and bottom. So while that's open, I'll go ahead and weld that up. Okay. And then I, uh, there we go. So you can see how that works. So if you look right here, you can see how that opens up. See? Can you see that? Okay. And that piano hinge should hold all the weight that it takes because this uh, lid isn't really going to be that heavy unless the owner decides to add something to it. Because the more you add to it, the more heavier it gets, see? So what I got to do is I'm going to weld up the rest of that, uh, that ledge that I made. I'm going to go ahead and weld that up. And then we'll be back. So, uh, okay, let me explain it to you. Let me, let me, let me break it down, okay? I have seven or eight jobs going at once. Okay, a guy in my position, okay, uh, I'm working on a 41 Willys. We're painting that. I put the flames on it. I'm working on this coffin. It's supposed to be a couple day job. It's turned out to be a whole fucking week now. Okay, and uh, because other stuff has gotten in my way and for me to make money, I got to be working on several different jobs at the same time because I don't have no employees and that's not your fucking problem. That's my problem. And no, I'm not bitching and complaining. I don't want any fucking employees. Because employees don't give a shit. Okay? Employees don't care about the quality of the job. Okay? They care about Friday. Friday around 2 or 3 o'clock, see? Because that's what time they usually leave. They don't stay here until 5 or 6 like a normal job. Okay? They come and go like they own the fucking place. Alright? So, no, I don't want any employees. I will work by myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I'm too slow or I'm not getting it done fast enough, get your car and go somewhere else. Okay, I have a special type of payment plan where you are not binded or constructed to stay at my shop. Okay, you can take your car. I'm not going to get mad. Okay, if I don't want to work on your car, you're not going to get mad because I don't owe you any money or any services. You have paid me up in full. Okay, so let's get back to the story now. I was pinstriping the willies and I thought to myself, well, maybe if I let Crawford pinstripe the willies, that'll give me a time to finish this. I can knock two, bird, two eggs out with the same fucking bird. And what happened is uh, the plan backfired. Because I ran out of gas on my welder uh, approximately 10 minutes after Crawford shows up. So I sat here on my fucking ass, twiddling my thumbs, till 1 o'clock in the morning last night. Okay, from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock with nothing to fucking do. I couldn't even work on the Carmagia because the next thing that we do on our Carmagia, okay, is welding, okay? So I don't know. So are we going to finish the coffin today? Are we going to finish it today? Probably so. It's going to be a done deal, hopefully. So let's get back to what we were doing on the toe pincher coffin. Okay, just to break down what we've done here, what I did is I took some of this round stock, because I don't know, you know, what was caught on the camera since we had a malfunction. I took some round stock, and if you notice here, I went ahead and grinded that at an angle and spot welded it with one spot weld at the angle that I want. So that way I can come back and weld that on. Now what I'm going to do with this, okay, I'm going to take my cutting motherfucker, I ain't even got a cord. Shit. Okay, so we got our rod right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a point. Now I'm going to take my cutting wheel and I'm going to cut it at an angle, straight down angle, see? Just like this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back, and that's too fucking tall. So we got to cut it again. <laughs> wow. And 
then I'm going to take it and get it into place where I want it. If you just saw what I did there. And then I can get my welding helmet on. And we can weld it in place, see? Now, I also got a 4x4 four four here, okay, and it's uh, perfectly balanced. Got one in the front and one in the back, and that's going to give me my height of uh, what I want. Now my fucking welder ain't working. Bitch. Then, if you look at it, it's looking pretty damn good. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these out, just like so. I'm going to slide this one out. Maybe I shouldn't take those out yet. Maybe I ought to leave them in there until at least I get these other two braces on here. Because it looked like when I took it off it kind of moved and we don't want it. Seven more to put on, then we scan it, okay? I showed you several times how it's done. I showed you that. The moral of this video, okay? Let me get my welder out of the way here. All right. The moral of this video is not for you to make a coffin, okay? The moral of this video is that you can do it, okay? This does not have anything to do with cars, but I'm doing it, okay? So, if you want to accomplish something in life, do it. If you want to get something done, it's your own fucking mind that's going to tell you to do it. Okay? I don't give a shit about doing this coffin. It's a fun job. It's exciting. Did you see? The metal just stretched a little on It's talking to us. It's, when I said I didn't like it, it talked to me. It's already haunted. It's a haunting situation, see? The metal is actually talking to me because I said I didn't like it. Wow. Now that's kind of spooky. But I'm doing it. I started the project. Okay. And I just jumped into it. Do you see the situation? You jump into it. Don't be afraid. It will work its way out. Everything always works out in the end, my friend. My friend Pete. Got to make a coffin. Get it done. I'll see you later. Take it easy. We'll be back when it's all done. Bye. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.